Hi, my name is Nur Izin Dati Bici Kawazabidi, a first year Geophysics student here in School of Physics. I am the editor and the video director. Hi, my name is Afi Haidi Zindi Soibudin, a first year medical physics student here in School of Physics. I am the script writer who wrote and organized the script. Oh, hi! My name is Shamir Tadariyah Binti Askula. I'm a first year medical physics student from School of Physics. I'm the presenter. So today, in this video, we will learn about relativistic heavy ion collider, or we call it RHIC. For today's topic, we will be traveling far to Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York to see the RHIC. RHIC is a synchrotron, which is a type of a cyclic particle accelerator. So what is a particle accelerator? It is an equipment that accelerates beams of particles and smashes them together to form a state of matter. Is that the RHIC? Doesn't it look big? For your information, the RHIC is a ring shape containing 1,700 superconducting magnets and has a circumference of 2.4 miles, approximately 3.862 km. Just imagine how far the particle gets to accelerate. The particles will pass through several stages of boosters before reaching RHIC storage ring. There are two detectors which name Star, Phoenix, that are located around the ring to capture images of particles colliding, thus proving the process in the RHIC. Based on research, a particle can do up to 80,000 laps in a single second. That is why it's not visible to the eyes and requires detectors to see them. The question here is, what good does the RHIC give to the world? RHIC is considered as the most flexible equipment in the world for transformative studies of extreme states of nuclear matter as it is capable to independently accelerate and collide different beam species and spin polarization. This can be easily understood by saying it is an equipment that helps many other researchers related to polarization. The construction of RHIC helps air nearby like Long Island and New York accurately as it supports more than 25% of employee population and also brings hundreds of visitors to Long Island in order to actually use the RHIC. Another unique capability of the RHIC is it could collide polarized proton beams and preserve it through energy RAM which is considered impossible to do by any other equipment. Every new thing invented comes with an aftermath. Some researchers find that building the RHIC was a waste of money. It's such a handful in maintaining due to its large size. Because of its enormous scale, every particle collision in the RHIC produces low luminosity. Luminosity is a light that measures how tightly packed the particles are in the beams to produce the required number of interactions. Luminosity decreases with distance. This can limit certain resistance. Apart from that, RHIC only operates for one month each year as it uses a large amount of energy in one go. A particle accelerator as large as the RHIC will emit ionizing radiation whenever it is used. As we all know, long exposure to radiation could cause great harm to us. Haven't we learned something insightful today? Now, whenever someone is wondering what is relativistic heavy ion collider, you can zoom in and share your knowledge together. That is all from Group 17. We hope you enjoy your time in New York and do visit here sometimes. Goodbye!